this video I did scheduling of different machine but totally automated in order to calculate the summation of tardiness. So I'm gonna show you an example here what, I do, what I've done. So it was extremely, uh, it's, it's extremely gives the users the flexibility to choose any number of machines, any number of jobs, okay, and in order to calculate summation of tardiness. So let's let's see what does that mean like specifically. So here, if we if we click here on scenario two, so we've got the due date twenty nine for job two and the due date twenty six for job uh, yeah. job two and twenty nine for job one. So you could see here like it's job two it finishes at thirty six, so the tardiness is ten days, and the same for all of them, and we get the summation of tardiness. Or so for every machine, we get the idle time, the utilization percentage, and the finishing time, as you could see here, for all of them. But let's see how does this work properly. So first we have to delete all the worksheet, okay? And then we could select any jobs we want, any number of machine, any jobs, for example, we have five jobs, and then we click on, do make sure the worksheet has been deleted before creating it. And then here we could see in scenario two, we've got, let me zoom in a little bit, in scenario two, We've got uh, the number of machine. So we have here, uh, so we've got here like uh, T on machine one, T on machine two, and T on machine three. So we've got three machines and we have five jobs. One, two, three, four, five. What time the job has arrived, due date and arrival date. Okay, and they're all random value, but the, at the end we calculated using uh, the summation of tardiness as expected. So we could see here the solution has been created, but it's not been uh, calculated. So we do it in ascending order, and then the next step would be to get the solution of the model. A summation of tardiness is 125. Okay, as, it's, as we can see here in this one. So if you do another example, I'm going to delete all the worksheet. I'm going to consider uh, for six machine, I'm going to consider 15 jobs, and then we do scenario two. Okay, so we've got all of them created automatically. We have them in a descending order, and then we got the solution. And C max is equal to 211, and which is here, that 211 here. And then the summation of tardiness is equal to, uh, so C max is equal to 211, which is that value here. And summation of tardiness in this case is equal to 1182, 1182. In a way, so we've got here machine one to machine six, and we have 15 jobs as we required, okay, based on that value. So the 15 job is literally that value here, okay. So we need to do okay in order to access the other one. So we did six 15 jobs.